Now, about 250 kilometers away in Kaduna, the state government is also in search of alternative ways of ending insecurity. Governor Nasser El Rufai is now advocating for the creation of state police to localize policing and improve efficiency. He stated this while playing host to a delegation from the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, led by the primate Henry Dukuba. Tessa Makende reports. It's a day after Kaduna State Governor in a late night broadcast for peace among citizens across the country. His concerns followed killings and destruction of properties and spread of hate speeches against people of different ethnicities. Nasi Arufai at this meeting with a team from the Anglican Church in Nigeria acknowledges that there are good and bad people from every tribe. It's a position the team says is true. The Christian leaders further note that there is possibility those spreading the hate are foreigners. We should be very careful about assuming that every hatsman is a criminal or every Fulani is a hatsman or every hatsman is a killer. This is a dangerous trend that can ignite crisis in this country. There are criminals amongst them, and we must identify and deal with them. East, West, North, and South, and nobody is safe. The fall of Libya and the other issues, the destabilization in Mali and other places, uh, may be fueling what we are suffering in Nigeria. The Kaduna State Governor says the nation needs a lot of prayers at a time like this. But he believes other measures such as creation of state police will go a long way towards addressing the nation's wars. They collectively frown at the continuous deployment of the military for internal operations. Nigeria is the only federation in the world with a unified police force, and it has not worked. So why don't we try something else? We need more boots on the ground. We need to be able to hold state governments fully accountable for internal security within their borders. The issue of state police, and we need to look into it in order to secure the lives and property of the people and of the communities. And we are trusting God that Nigeria will enjoy peace. The day ends with the leaders charging citizens to partner the government for a peaceful nation. They hope their call will be heeded too. Tassim Akende, TVC News, Kaduna.